Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Ansifer. And in this video, we are going to find the height of a binary tree, or in other words, we can say depth of the binary tree. So let's see by an example. What do I mean by this? Suppose you have been given a binary tree. So in this tree, you can see. node 1 is present at this level in the very next level we have got these two nodes in the next level we have got these nodes and finally in the last level we have got a node and we see that in total we have got four levels in other words we can say the height for this tree will be 4 or the depth of the binary tree is 4 So, what will be our approach to solve this question? We are going to solve it recursively because that's a easier and fast approach. So, let's see. So, the first thing which we are going to do for every node that first we are going to find the left height of the tree. Next, we are going to find the right height. And next, what do we do? Let's see. now for the node one we can see here we have got just one level to the left of it so this node will return 1 and to the right of it we can see we have got 1 2 3 levels so in total this will be returned as 3 and for this node when we have to return the answer the answer will be the maximum of 1 and 2 because there is where the maximum depth of the tree is so in this case we have got 3 as the max between 3 and 1 and also we'll add the current node value that means plus 1 so 3 plus 1 we are going to add so return max of left and right plus 1 so now let's see this now let's see a dry run of the solution Now the first of all, one will call two. Now two will call its left and right children, that is null and null. So basically, whenever there is a null, we are going to return always zero. So it gets zero from left side and zero from the right side. And the maximum of this will be zero, and then it's going to return one. So from the left hand side, one gets one as the maximum height. now what is to the right side to the right side one calls 3 then 3 will call the left child that is 4 and then 4 will call the left child whenever the left child is null we will return simply 0 and again the right child is also 0 and now this is going to return the maximum of 0 and 0 and plus 1 so 1 overall and now 3 will call its right child it will go to the right 5 and then 5 will call 6 and then 6 will call to the left that is 0 and 0 and 0 comma 0 max plus 1 that will be 1 so now 5 will get 1 from its left child and to the right child it was having null so it will get 0 so maximum of 1 and 0 plus 1 that will be 2 and now 3 will get 1 from its left side and it will get 2 from its right side so maximum of 1 And two will be two plus one, that means three. So one will get one from its left side, and it will get three from its right side. And maximum of three and one will be three plus one, that will be our answer. That is four. So let's see how the pseudo code should look like. Now suppose we call a function height, and in the height we are going to always pass the parent node or the root node. now let's make the function it will always be of int type int height and this is our node a pointer and the root now first of all the base case whenever root is null then we return 0 <coughs> after that we are going to call the left children of the current node and whatever value we get we will store it in a variable let's say lt after that we'll call the same for the right child 
and at the end we are going to return maximum of left and right plus one so this is a very simple solution and let's move to the code where we can see the test cases so you can see this is the code of lead code and you can see there is a max depth function here we have called the function height and in the height function you can see whenever the root is null we have to return zero then we will call the left children's height then we will find the right children height and then we are going to return the maximum of left and right plus one let's run the test cases and it should pass successfully let's see <coughs> yeah so this is the solution uh, thanks for watching the video please like like and subscribe the video and share my video i will make more lead code questions in the upcoming videos thanks